Welcome back to the happy hour. Don't forget to get our podcast at iTunes or Google Play. Our uh, resident lawyer, Steve Moskowitz, in the house. Always a uh, pleasure. A bonus on a Thank Friday. You. Yes. So thanks for coming. Bonus in. Moskowitz. Bonus I like Moscow. it. Bonus is nice. <laughs> we're, we're not getting no money though. Well, yeah, we're oh. not getting charged, right? Oh. This is a freebie. You haven't checked your mail. <laughs> I know it's like, I'll, I'm going to forward that on, you know, to NBC Sports the Bay Area. Um, all right, a really cool story coming out of uh, Houston, Texas. Deshaun Watson, their young uh, rookie quarterback, donated his entire first paycheck to three uh, workers in, in the Texans cafeteria who lost everything to Hurricane Harvey. So he comes in and he surprises them with the money that obviously they desperately need to get back on their feet. The question is, I mean, this is a, it's a pretty good sized check, I would imagine. He, he is a 27,000. Yeah, draft pick. Um, does this, in, do they have to pay taxes on this? How does this work? That's about the easiest tax question you could possibly ask me. <laughs> Domestic gifts are totally free of income taxes. There's nothing for you to even report. So if Billy Gates said, you know, this is my favorite show in the world and to each a billion dollars, there's no tax on that. And as far as the giver of the gift, mm -hmm. unless it's more than $5.4 million, there's no gift tax on you. So there's not a problem here at all. And if he set it up right, he might get a tax deduction if he gives it to, it's, a, it's called a 501c3 organization, it's basically a charity. And it's good for, not to mention the fact that as far as being commercially good, he will get far more, oh, yeah. far more than he he's ever given away. It's a win-win for everyone. It's, everybody yeah, it wins is. on this it, one. It really is. Now, you, you mentioned that if Bill Gates were to give us one billion, one billion dollars. <laughs> one billion. One billion each. Do with millions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one billion each that we wouldn't have to pay any taxes on it. Zero. The only thing you have to watch out for, if it's a foreign gift, if it's a foreign gift, over 100,000. You still don't have to pay any taxes, but it's special reporting because all the foreign stuff, the government gets upset. Okay. But domestic gifts, even foreign gifts, zero income taxes. What was a 5.4 million limitation? Well, what, happen, what happens is there's a gift tax. Okay. So if you give more than 5.4 million. Which one billion is more than 5.4 million. Yes, it is. Then You'd you would have ahead. to pay the... No, 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 no. It's the giver. Oh. So if it's more than 5.4 million, the giver of the gift. So, so Billy, Billy Gates. Billy yeah. would have to do it. But I think he could probably afford it. Yeah, I think he, he can afford that. <laughs> I suspect you can. Um, one other case that's going on uh, locally here is uh, Raiders cornerback Sean Smith. He pled not guilty to assault. Now, this uh, was a, a case that happened over the summer, 4th of July incident down in uh, uh, the L.A. area, um, in which he got into a fight, allegedly beat up his sister's boyfriend. Now, considering the facts uh, and some of the, the details have come out that he was actually defending his sister... Uh, who was getting assaulted by her boyfriend. If that is, in fact, true, how, how do cases like this normally end up? Being dismissed. What we have to remember is American law, you are presumed innocent unless you're proven guilty. And the problem here is there's a lot of things. For example, it can be defense of himself, defense of another, mutual combat. There's a lot of things. So the bottom line is he could very easily walk away from this. Now, this happened in, in pa downtown Pasadena, which uh, at, on a late Friday night or a late Saturday night or a holiday weekend, there's usually a lot of, a lot of people around there, so there, there will be no shortage of witnesses. Would that make much of a difference if they can call person after person and tell, a story, to tell their story as to what they saw? The first thing that the defense attorney is going to do is you hire a private investigator, and he goes and he talks with you, you build the case. And then, see, most of the work in, in a lawsuit or prompt are done behind the scenes, not mm -hmm. the trial. That's the mm -hmm. TV stuff. And what happens is he gets the interviews from all these people, then the lawyer goes to the prosecutor and says, look, I have these 97 people I interviewed, and they all said that I saw him with his hands around the sister's neck, mm -hmm. and the guy came, then he hit him, and it's just, even if there's a video camera, you have to say where did it start, because if somebody is chasing you with a machete, and the next thing you see where the camera begins is the guy punching you, say, look at that, <laughs> he punched him. Well, wait a minute, he was waving a machete at me. A lot of that. Well, Sean Smith, okay, he faces up to seven years in a state prison if Never gonna he's convicted. Happen. Yeah. Right. Never going to so, happen. But say he is convicted. What, what kind of sentence are we really looking at? Because he didn't commit murder. I mean, he, he got into a fight, basically, with another male. Then what you do, you see, lawyers hire a lot of experts. Then what you do is you hire a probation consultant who helps you write the report to the judge. And these are guys that formerly worked for judges and things. And they go and they say, here's all the good things he's done for the community. This was a one-time, very unusual incident. There's other circumstances. And then what happens when he does his report, he explains to the judge 
why he shouldn't do any mm -hmm. time or should do something else like some community service. So the bottom line is there's, there's no way in the world he would be doing seven years. And it's super rare, even if a regular person does something, you get the maximum. You really have to go out of your way to get the max. But I, I do not foresee him doing any time or even being convicted. Of course, he could face some trouble with the league. Steve Moskowitz, we appreciate the time. Always a pleasure. Uh, is there a D word in the law? Defense. Defense. Look at that. We're going to talk about another D word, but that was a that was a cupcake right there. I, I appreciate. I love cupcakes. Thank you. Cupcake. With, with lots of sweet icing on. Thank you. Another D word coming out of Clay Thompson. Thank you, Steve. Always a pleasure.